o'clock, parents arrested. Their children found malnourished, their refrigerator locked. Thanks for being with us. I'm Doug Dunbar. And I'm Gilma Avalos. Two of the children were in a dog kennel. In the last 10 minutes, we've learned those children are now out of the hospital and are in foster care. They were found at a Wise County home between Rome and Newark when police tried to break up a fight between the parents. Our Jason Allen is live there now. And Jason, it appears that fight got pretty violent. Uh, Gilma, it may have gone on four or five hours, uh, sheriff deputies think, until the woman living here called 911. There's a broken window on the house. You'll see in this booking photo here in a moment that the man that they arrested has some deep cuts on his face, deep enough he had to go to the hospital before they took him to jail. And it was in the middle of all of this that deputies could hear the sounds of children coming from inside of that building. Uh, but in fact, the sheriff said Andrew Fabila and Paige Harkins had four children in that home. There were three boys and a girl, and they were all under the age of five. And they were all in one room, not clothed, covered in waste, hungry, thirsty, and two of them were locked inside a wire dog kennel. Sheriff said it was about three by three in size. There was a girl and a boy in there together, the two oldest children, and had little more than a blanket to sit on, he said. Deputies immediately got them out and got them water. There was some food in the house, but the refrigerator was locked. Deputies called paramedics to the scene. They took kids to the hospital in Fort Worth. Neighbors told us they don't think the family had been here more than three or four weeks, but until today, they had never seen any sign that there were kids living here. Um, we noticed lights on, and I didn't even know there was a house back there. I thought it was a shed or a shop, and it maybe still is a shed or a shop that people turned into a home. But um, I didn't know that it was a livable place, or doesn't sound like it is either. Sheriff told me there was also some evidence in the house of drug use when they first got in there this morning. His investigators are still trying to talk to family and friends of Fabila and Harkins and try to determine what led up to all of this. Live in Wise County tonight, Jason Allen, CBS 11 News. Those details hard to process. Thank you, Jason. And if you ever suspect child abuse, you can report it to the state via their hotline 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The number is on your screen there. It's 1 800 252 5400. And of course, always call 911 in an immediate emergency.